Hey guys, welcome back to some Diablo 3. 1110 here, and we're doing a quick, very quick video on the Diablo 20th anniversary event. Uh, unfortunately, in Diablo itself, it is possibly one of the most disappointing. Um, are the Overwatch uh, character icons and sprays. This is a pretty poor tribute to Diablo franchise. It is pretty sad. Um, I don't really want to be too negative on it, but there's really not much positives to talk about. Uh, this event is basically Diablo 1 inside Diablo 3 for January only. So, we'll show you what we're talking about here. This is the regular game. Go to here, the old runes. Now, there are some cool things, don't get me wrong, but it could have been a lot better. So, you go here, and you're looking for the portal to Old Tristram. So, once you go in here, you have uh, pixelated graphics, which they announced at BlizzCon. You have the eight, eight uh, directional movement, and you're always walking. You get the Diablo One music. This can't be opened yet. You get uh, Diablo One sound effects when it comes to um, gold dropping, potions, and you get some other cool sound effects. Uh, but that's pretty much the height of it. The main content is a 16 level, for want of a better description, greater rift. This is You get to it by going through here. I'm just taking a little detour, show you some extra bits. Now I'm sure I'm missing something in the game about these items, but I really don't care. It, it's really uninspiring to play this, and I, f I actually fell asleep halfway through the dungeon because it was so boring. Um, I do have teleport on this character, so I'll just... Up. So once you get up here, you get to the Labyrinth level 1. And it's basically a greater rift. So... I mean, I'm not going to go through all 16 levels. I'll show you the later levels in a moment. Uh, but at the end of it, you obviously, you kill Diablo. And the main reward, I suppose, is uh, a legendary gem for your helm. I've just put it in here to show you guys. A red soul shard. Struggle for control. Unleashing a ring of fire that inflicts 12,500 weapon damage to enemies it passes through. Let's just play for a, a second to see if I can get this to trigger. Taking its time here. There you go. So it stuns you, and then does hardly any damage. Now, that's not very good. It does 12,500 weapon damage at rank 0, and after rank 25 you get this free resource, or reduced uh, costs for your uh, spells and cooldowns are reduced for 30 seconds. But you have to gain a level. I don't know how many times in a in a rift you're going to level up for a 30 second buff to be useful. Um, yeah, so it's not a very good legendary gem. It's nice that it can fit in the helm, so that you could have four total, but it's just not very good. Uh, the stun is ridiculous because you're never going to use it for a hardcore character, and it actually can interrupt your tele uh, your EP. So there you go. Um, so I'm going to go and show you some footage of the lower levels of the dungeon. I think just level 15 and 16. There's really not much else in there. You get to kill the Butcher, you get to kill the Skeleton King, but they're no different than you would expect. Uh, smaller versions of the exact same monster, the exact same movesets. This looks a little pixelated. 
Uh, there's a, other, a couple of other small references to Diablo 1, but nothing nothing crazy. There are some recipes you can make items with. Um, I mean, honestly, Kriparian did a, a video on this, and it's a pretty all-encompassing dam damning of the, the whole thing. I'll link it in the video. I'll link it in the description. But I'm not impressed with this. I'm really disappointed. Season 9 is basically a bust, as was Season 8 and Season 7. So I won't be playing Season 9. I don't think I'll be coming back to Diablo anytime soon, unless they can really um, knock it out of the park with the next patch. And if the Necromancer comes and it's a paid DLC, I don't even know if I'll pay for it. Uh, because what's a new character to play the same content again? Just different flashes on the screen when it comes to the skills. Uh, so overall, very disappointed. I love, I mean, I love the idea. It just wasn't very well executed. And you can see that they put a lot of effort into it. I mean, there's some items that drop, like, uh, this is like a new type of ring. Got custom art on it, you know. Um, and they have different sound effects uploaded and all that kind of stuff. It's, this doesn't, doesn't work. The 16 level dungeon is too bland, it's unoriginal content, it's rehashed cathedral tile sets, and it's just, it just overall doesn't work for me. Now you may enjoy it, I encourage you to try it if you have the game, if you really want to get this gem, it, you should you should get the gem, even if you want to use it for memes, whatever, because um, it is only available for the next three and a half weeks in January. I don't know why this is only available in January, it makes no sense to me. Uh, it could just be a side side area of the game to do for shits and giggles anytime you want. I don't know why. Uh, but that's that's what it is. So, overall, very disappointed. I'm going to go in and show you level 15 and level 16 of the Labyrinth. There's no commentary on it, as I've already done it. I'm not playing through with this gem. It'll be the first time I've played through it. It's only like four minutes, five minutes. You get to see Diablo get killed. That's basically it guys.